welcome to the workshop. In this edition of Amateur Filmmaking on a Budget, I'm going to show you how to fix your immediate audio problems for basically, let's say, $10 or less. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is what's called a portable mic. Uh, if you've ever seen a reality show, you see people with the microphone, they're about this big, you know, they're usually on the back. Uh, people pretend they don't see them, they totally see them. However, if you're doing anything like this, you basically need something you can relatively hide somewhat easily. But, of course, you don't want to spend literally four to five hundred dollars on those weird mics. There is a way around this. If you have a phone, any phone will do, as long as it has a voice recorder app. Any phone that made in the last ten years should have this. So, well, once you've got your phone, I hope you have one, you need one of these. These are just headphones that have a microphone on them. Why are they purple? Because they were on sale for a dollar at Habitat for Humanity. I bought about 20 pair uh, because uh, I'm here a lot. I go through these like you wouldn't believe. But uh, a normal retail price for high quality uh, phone headphones is anywhere from six to $20. Locate your microphone. plug it into your phone. If I have to tell you to do that, there's probably no hope for you. Find the voice recorder app. It should, it should look like a microphone or something similar. Place in pocket. Now, of course, we need the amateur filmmaker's secret weapon, duct tape. Why am I using yellow duct tape? it matches my shirt phone, feed it in through your clothes. You may have to blur your screen out for a second for this. This is going to get ugly. All right. Locate the microphone. Take microphone. Attach duct tape. Now you want it to be close to, but not, but not visible. But uh... Now, uh, in 1925, they made a movie called The Jazz Singer which exploded sound. The Jazz Singer was the first movie ever to have sound and it was hugely, hugely popular. That's why. Uh, but within 10 years, silent movies were completely phased out. However, at the time, they had two separate devices. An audio recorder, which was basically a record, and then they had the video camera. They needed to sync them up. The reason that once they had a camera that could do both, they continued to use them is because they were shooting multi-camera. Now, what you want to do is take two pieces of wood, I prefer wood, and you make them very clearly visible in the camera. One, two, three. All right. Now you have a sharp sound which in digital editing now will actually show up in a very visual way, the basically a big spike. Then you have uh, that, then you have the visual cue of the actual frame in which it connects. That is how you sync your video from your audio. This is how a carry-on mic will work. Alright, now that you've got your uh, brilliantly hidden portable mic setup, you have to do what's called a boom mic. Uh, basically, it's a microphone on what's called a boom, or an extended arm. People will literally charge you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on this particular piece of equipment. The, the portable mics are can range anywhere from 200 to 2,000. A boom mic can literally be a $10,000 thing. I am not paying 10 grand for a microphone. However, there is a very, very affordable, very abundant means in which you can get a microphone that you can extend to this piece of PVC. Now, of course, once again, we're going to need the amateur filmmaker's secret weapon, 
duct tape. And we're obviously going to need a microphone. Preferably a microphone with a very, very long cable. In this case, it'll plug into a USB. What you want to do is you have your sound person or, you know, if you're by yourself, which I sadly am today, plug it into your laptop. Now, probably wondering, where did I get a high quality microphone with a profoundly long cord? And I still have the price tag on this guy from when I bought it from Goodwill. I paid two dollars for a high quality microphone with a very long cord. I'm pushing that ever. Why did I get it? Who would give this away? It's a high quality piece of equipment. Well, if you're over the age of 12, you probably remember that there was once a game called Rock Band. There was uh, basically, it, it allowed you to pretend you knew how to play the guitar. It was available on Xbox 360, PlayStation, etc. Anyway, it died. It died a horrible death because it was stupid. Now we have better versions of Rock Band where you actually have to learn the chords. Some people still play it, but frankly, you can get these Rock Band microphones which were designed to tell the difference between actual words and pitch and tone for two bucks. Okay. Now, you take your microphone and you attach it. Give it about, I'm going to say, between a foot to two feet of space from your boom, in this case, uh, a PVC pipe. I prefer the PVC because it's light and you can buy them secondhand pretty easily as long as you don't care what they look like. I don't. I am. You set this bad boy up, plug the other end into your laptop, or if you can buy an adapter, you can plug it into your phone or whatever you can use. Frankly, this will work and it works profoundly well. How well? Pretty cool, huh?